So today is vlog number two and we're going to be discussing some variations to put into your into your beats. It could be chal, uh, gidda, um, tamal, whatever you want. Um, it's going to be where you place your tilly and dugga and your hands as well. Um, these are just a few things that I've learned. Simple stuff. It's not majorly bad. Um, just a few simple things to get you started and then as this vlog progresses I'll probably add a few more advanced and some crazy ones in there for you um, Basics would be where you place your dilly So your dilly can either go where it normally goes It can go in the middle as a stab Or you can do like a half So it's a half stab half in the middle A lot of people ask me how to do this. Now you get your dilly and you press against the rim, the rim of the skin. But it takes a little bit of practice. Um, what you want to do is get a flick. It's actually a flick. So you you got to bring your dilly off to get the sound. You can't just press because you're not going to get the sound. You got to push on and push off. Put it from this angle. But you've got to make sure you press and pull off at the same time. Takes a bit of getting used to, but you'll get it. Once you've got that, it's just incorporating that into your beats. You can put it absolutely anywhere. Um, another thing, another little basic thing, is your dugger. Now, I like to have my dugger quite loose. So, but again, that's per personal preference. I like it loose so I can go. But um, I like mine loose. Um, a lot of people swear have them really, really tight. Um, like I said, my personal preference is loose, just so I can get my hand into it. Now I don't use my hand a lot, but it's just a little bit of a variation wherever I feel like it. To put your hand into it, a lot of people play like this, so they play the dugger as they play jaws so. or. I do it a lot, or some people even put their dugger away. Yeah, and play the whole. Um, I'm not really good at that, to be honest with you, but it can be done with practice. I prefer the dugger. That's my personal preference. Um, also, with the dilly side, you can do a little mix where you can do like a half job. Um, 
So yeah, that was the basics of just a few variations. Now, mind the mistakes, this is my sister's doll. So I'm not really used to playing on it. I'm not used to the rim either. Um, my rim's a lot further back, so I can do a bit more variation. But again, it's practice. Uh, I'd always say stick to your own doll because that's the one you're gonna perform with. That's the one that you're gonna be using. Um, these little variations, they do help if you've got, Oh, so it does help if you've got your own doll. Um, it's like having your own snooker cue or your own pair of football boots, that kind of thing. You know how it feels, you know how it works, you know like the little tricks. Um, but yeah, that was variations part one, I guess. Um, just a little bit of information just to get the ball rolling, I guess. Um, if you guys want something or you want some advice or... You want a like, luggy or delegates, ask and I'll post it just the way I did with this. Had a bit of spare time on the Sunday, so I thought I'd just drop this video. Um, subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you very much. Bye bye.